welcome to this week's video. Plan this weekend, find a campground that we'll have all to ourselves. You guys are gonna be my company. The weather out today is not too bad. A little windy, 20 to 30 mile an hour with some heavier gusts. Uh, but the temperature it's in the upper 20s now tomorrow the temperature is going to remain there in the 20s but that wind is going to go away this afternoon i was thinking about taking on a project i was watching another youtuber this morning and he was having some troubles with these led lights that he put in his van i think those lights look really cool and i think they would work perfect in the cab over portion of the truck camper so i was thinking about stopping at harbor freight picking up a set of those led lights i think that'd look kind of cool set we've got groceries we got the LED lights uh, I'm gonna run to the park really quick and see if the water spigot is turned on here and I'm actually thinking about filling up my fresh water tank I don't know if I should if the water spigot shut off that's a sign from God saying I shouldn't put water in my tanks yet Let's see what happens oh they have it open it's still off probably a good thing that the water was shut off we could still get some pretty cold temps and uh, better be safe than sorry as we passed the river I was just thinking about it the Mississippi has been in almost all of my videos the last couple of weeks So Greer Lake has a campground and also a boat landing here. We'll go check out the boat landing later. And it looks like they have the road to the boat landing. It's been plowed all winter long. Made it to the campground. And uh, so good news, um, there's nobody here. Bad news, uh, I don't think they opened it yet. You guys remember I was in Pillager not that long ago and that's part of the same state forest system. I did have a ranger stop by there and what he told me in Pillager is that uh, it's open as long as they're plowed out and you can get in there. Um, really no rules other than got to pay the 17 bucks. This looks absolutely perfect to me. I'm really going to enjoy this. It's going to be so quiet out here. Let's go find our spot. We'll get set up and then maybe head down to the lake. There's a couple of spots with no snow on the ground, but I still want to be in a designated camping spot. I don't want to just pull up and park anywhere. I think this might be a good spot right here. So I was giving a little gas in hopes that the whole truck would kind of sink down into the snow a little bit, just to help me level it out. I'll use the airbags to get closer. 
we can take a look at where we're sitting. It's really not too bad. What I'll do first is raise up the driver's side and then I'm gonna drop the passenger side down to five pounds. And that right there is why I really like having these airbags. Like I mentioned on last week's video, for me, the airbags, they don't carry the load of the truck. That's all done with the springs. I think having proper overload springs and having your overload leaves engaged is really important. The airbags for me is what I use to adjust the level of the truck up and down. Well, I'm gonna start getting set up. I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. I gotta grab a pen and then we're gonna walk up to that kiosk and pay. Let me show you guys something that I found the other day. When Mandy and I went to lacrosse, we stopped at thrift stores. Check this find out. I got this fan for $2.99. These things come in really handy, especially in the summertime when you wanna push air around. And then of course, movies, buck 50 a piece. Can't beat that deal. And some of you are probably thinking, why do you need movies when you're out in the woods? For me, I like background noise. Um, sometimes the silence can be absolutely deafening. So even when I'm setting up my camper, I almost always have the TV on and uh, I just like having the background noise. So that's why when I'm making my videos, you guys will probably hear that I have music playing. Uh, it's because I enjoy it. Other content creators, they don't have a lot of music playing. That's absolutely fine because that's what they like. A lot of times I'll be scrolling through TikTok while editing out a video, listening to a podcast while the TV's playing. Sometimes it drives Mandy absolutely crazy, but it's just the way that my mind works. Seventeen bucks. Not too bad. I wish it was cheaper, but it is what it is. We're gonna hang our receipt and then go for a walk. That wind is not wanting to play nice. This is a really pretty campground though. I've got no clue on anything on this lake. I've never been out here before. Wow. It is slippery out here. Thinking someone may have had a spear hole right here. I can see ice bubbles, so I know the ice is good. And I better get off. <laughs> I felt that crack right under my feet. Can you see that big crack in the middle of the ice from where I was standing on it? Oh, crazy. I'd love to stay down by the lake, spend a little bit more time. It's just way too cold out there. Oh, looks like they have a, looks like they have a fish cleaning house. We gotta go check that out. This poor guy has seen its better days. So getting out every weekend. One of the things I've been finding is that these places are getting used more and more. In the last couple of years, a lot of people have been through these campgrounds, but unfortunately the state laid a bunch of their workers off two years ago. They haven't hired them all back yet. And this sometimes is what happens. So I guess it just goes to show how important it is that when we come out here, we're taking care of these places. 
for the most part, I am finding that a lot of these parks I've been visiting, they're pretty clean and people are doing a good job picking up their garbage. It's just what I've been finding. It's not always the case, but I would say 95% of the time when I've been coming out to these parks, they're pretty clean and people have been doing a really good job of picking up their garbage. It's just a couple, 5% or so that treat it kind of poorly. Where did I park? Well, let's do a little audit of the campground and take a look and see how people have been doing. That one's clean. That one's clean. Somebody left some wood out here. I appreciate that, but I'm not having a fire tonight. That one's clean. Clean. Another clean one. Clean. All right, my faith in humanity is completely being restored. Well, there's a water bottle. Go figure. I must have checked what, maybe 10 fire rings, one of them dirty. So there you go. 90% of the people out here care about this stuff and they're taking care of it. It's that other few percent that, uh, well, they just weren't taught right. Let's go in the camper, get warmed up. On the menu tonight, I was thinking about making my old standby, Canadian bacon, egg cheese sandwich. But I also brought one of these Suddenly Salad kits. I think I'm gonna start by making that. And then we'll get her shut off. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna strain this thing. This should work. Now I'm just gonna put it in the fridge, let it sit for an hour. I've got about 45 minutes before that's ready. So I'm gonna clean up the dishes, maybe watch some TV, catch up with you guys. Well, I finished making supper and I'll be honest, I'm ready to go to bed. I think all that fresh air this afternoon took it out of me. We'll get to that light project tomorrow morning. We'll make some breakfast. I'll see you guys in a bit. Last night it was really peaceful, but the wind was blowing pretty good. So I put the slide in this morning. I'm gonna put the slide out, I'm gonna make some breakfast, and then I might take a look at putting these LED lights up. It's only uh, well, it's six degrees out right now, and I don't want to go biking in six degrees. I didn't bring my snowmobile clothes, so we might try putting these lights up. We'll get out on the bike trail a little bit later. Let's first get the slide out, put out. It looks nice outside, but it is cold out there. 
I am not going on a bike ride if it's staying in the single digits all day long. For now, I'm gonna make a little breakfast. I picked up these egg beaters yesterday. Figured I'd give them a shot. Perfect. That'll taste good. So my opinion on the eggs, if you're used to buying the cheapest eggs possible, then these will taste just fine. If you're used to eating farm fresh eggs, these are gonna be absolutely flavorless. But. The Canadian bacon and cheese always helps. I've been pretty lazy all day long. I haven't done anything but sit inside the camper and that's all right. You know, it's a little afternoon. We haven't got into the double digits yet. We're still sitting about eight, nine degrees. I'm not gonna go out for no bike ride today. So a little bit later, we'll go inside, tackle that project with the uh, LED lights and I think that should be about enough. So I'm gonna finish going on this little walk and then uh, We'll get them lights. There's no doubt that this park is going to get filled up this summer. So it's nice being able to come out here and enjoy these now like this. Such a different feel than the summertime. I'm a traveling spirit, I've seen many shores From the West Pacific to the island of Kenya They treat me like a son anywhere I go And even though no one can tell, I still feel that I When I left yesterday, I had the choice to either bring my fishing sled or to bring the e-bike. And I brought the e-bike. I probably should have grabbed the fishing sled instead. This time of year in Minnesota, the fishing starts picking up. We go through a little bit of a lull in February, March. It kind of picks back up right around the beginning of April. You can hear the ice cracking in the distance. At first I thought it was a grouse making that thump, thump, thump noise. But it's the ice cracking, that's pretty cool. Won't be much longer, it'll all be gone. Well, I think I'm gonna go back into the camper and uh, get that LED project all figured out. I was looking at it last night, where I was gonna put the lights and what would make the most sense. Really, this is an upgrade that is uh, clearly cosmetic. There's absolutely no other reason for it. It is just something that looks pretty, I guess. Well, let's get back into the warmth. So I told you guys that I like background noise and oftentimes I'll leave the TV on even when I'm not in here. I don't know why. It's just something I do. 
But this has got to be one of my all-time favorite channels, Vice Grip Garage. When I was younger, I used to watch all of those shows on the Discovery Channel and the Learning Channel, like um, Junkyard Wars and uh, Gas Monkey Garage, and you know, the list goes on and on and on. And it seems like all of those channels has changed over the years where they no longer focus on fixing the car. Now they focus on the, you know, the shenanigans and the antics of all of the mechanics in the garage, and it really is no longer on the car. With this guy he almost feels like i'm watching one of those shows from back in the you know 90s and 2000s well this afternoon i'm gonna mount the leds in the overhead portion of the truck camper i'll show you what i got it's this luminar kit i bought at the home depot and it was around 26 bucks the kit comes with 12 feet of led lights a remote control to change the colors and then some directions. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty simple install. I'm gonna first start by wiping down all the surfaces that the double-sided tape's gonna to stick to with this isopropyl alcohol. I was looking at the different options of where I could put it, and I'd like to go around the ceiling, but I don't have enough LEDs for that. So I thought I would go up in the headboard piece. So the lights use 120 volt electric. There's a lot of times where I don't have 120 volts on in the camper and I'll still wanna use the lights. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the inverter that I have mounted for the TV to power the lights. That way I'll be able to turn them on anytime. For those of you guys that have a truck camper, you know how much of a pain it is to work in the overhead cab. And I don't know why, but this is like a wrestling match every time I have to change the sheets in this thing. First thing I'm gonna do is wipe this area down where I'll be putting the tape. We wanna make sure that we get this really clean. Don't want the tape coming off at all. So far, this stuff is sticking pretty good. Well, I got the LED tape going all the way around the headboard. So I got a bunch of that Reflectix for the windows. I'm gonna put that in, make it as dark in here as I possibly can. We'll plug in the lights and see how it looks. I mean, come on. Well, was it worth it? I don't know, I like it. I think it looks good, honestly. And I mean, that's all that really matters. It's something to make it feel a little bit more comfortable, cozy, I spend a lot of time in here. So yeah, I think it looks cool. Really, that's all that matters, right? So you guys might be seeing a little bit of a flicker on the screen, but it doesn't, it's a solid color. And you can change the colors on it with the remote control or let it go through like a cycle kind of thing. I think it's really neat. Uh, I really enjoy it. Um, Anything to make it just feel a little bit more comfortable. Ooh, welcome to the show. I think my favorite color is like uh, this dark blue. I think it looks really cool. And I'll probably just run these kind of late at night or maybe while editing at the computer. Just something to give it a little bit more feel in here. So, cool. All right, project done. We got the slide back in. Everything's picked up and I'm ready to hit the road. This weekend has been super relaxing and sometimes it's okay not to go on any big hikes or walks. I really enjoyed having that campground all to ourselves. It was so peaceful. But the weather's warming up and that means these campgrounds, they're not going to be empty for much longer. That's okay because that's just going to push us deeper into the national forest lands. So until next week's video guys, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road.